you say one decision K uh, playing Red Air Photo Sunrise Time Edition. Today gonna play mission made by uh, D one or three F channel and a title mission is a dish server called Cutscene, which is his uh third mission of uh, his uh the eighty story series. So yeah, we're always in for a time with like this mission. Start playing this right now. Zack, I found stone. It's at the observatory. Great, so you're there. Huh? And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Stay tuned, I was going to play her mission very soon. Alright, go play her mission made by uh, like D at 103F channel. And the tower mission, it's a dish over cold, which is his uh, 31st mission of his. Uh, the 80 story series. So yeah, what are we seeing for a time like this mission? I wonder why the uh, the other didn't decided to put like uh, you know like the cutscene in the the main mission together. All right, Zach, he's arriving. I stay here while you go hiding in a hiding in a bush. Get hide in a bush. All right, go hide in a bush. All right, cool. Yeah, I was pausing a little bit because uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't so clear the way it was uh, said, you know, it was written. Which bush? Couldn't see very well. Officer Stone, my man. Shut up. Oh, he's dead already? Already? Harry, no! Stone's escaping. Jay Stone, but don't kill him. Yo, I couldn't see what's going on, man. Yo, where did he go? Ah, god damn it. Yeah, I have to, I have to pay attention of the, the background to see where he's going, man. Because I was hiding in a bush, I couldn't tell like where he is. So I have to pay attention about like where he's escaping and all that, man. So yeah, very bad guys. It's technically failed the mission, but uh, you know, it, it wasn't shown like uh, the destination point on the GPS map, and I was in the bush, so I couldn't see what's going on when I was like you know playing. So yeah, very bad guys. All right, I'm back. So yeah, apparently he's heading to the highway, if I'm not mistaken, judging by the picture. So it should be like at the north. Uh, okay, at the north. And the thing is that uh, it's pretty flaw because uh, I mean you can access to the edit mode, but the way he's escaping wasn't wasn't so clear, you know. I mean, at first I thought like he was like uh, you know escaping uh, on foot, but that's not the case. I mean, the, by the time the cutscenes like ends, he's not escaping on foot. He was driving actually. Yeah, judging by the edit mode. So that's why I couldn't like uh, see where he's going, which just sucks. I mean, like uh, I don't know. The other shoot like uh, you know. Make him like uh, when he's like him like escaping, still like escaping on foot. Is that like uh, you know, like uh, having him to drive uh, to the destination point like uh, with a vehicle? And yeah, the vehicle I think was a blue something, but uh, you could tell like uh, when like uh, the enemy is driving that he just like uh, by bypassing like the traffic rules and all that. But so yeah. I think this part wasn't well done, man. And yeah, I know that the checkpoint is over here because I was checking the edit mode. And yeah, that's the, what what the vehicle is. And you couldn't tell. I mean, like by the time like the the cutscene was over, you couldn't tell like he was driving this. But I know like thanks to the edit mode that the checkpoint was over here. You finished, though. I'm gonna kill you. Let's fight like real men. At the rooftop, really. 
kill detective real man he has a knife is that oh shit that's pretty tall <laughs> all right All right, just die. Just die so I can progress further. You're dead, punk. Hey, kid, I'm sorry. Please give me a second chance. After betray us and kill Henry? No. Say hello to my little friend. I mean, your pistol? Ah, come on, shoot. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Yeah, I think this part was glitch as well. Sucks. <laughs> Harry, now my revenge is complete. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Stay tuned, I'm going to play our mission very soon. Alright, uh, thanks for your mission made by by uh, D on her 3 f channel. And the title, miss title mission is a Peluge. Which is his uh, 30 second mission of his uh, daily story series. So, yeah, we're always looking for a kind of like this mission. Oh. Okay. Cemetery. <laughs> Today, we are reunited to celebrate the funeral of Henry Crawford. Henry, maybe I wasn't a good boy or a good boyfriend. I'm sure the Lord will forgive all his crimes and all bad things. He leaves his girlfriend Mary, his dead Jacob, and his... I'm sure Henry is in a better place and meet all his parents in the sky. Now Henry, rest in peace in the Lord house. Amen. Amen. No, it's raining, man. Don't you guys uh getting sick eventually? The end. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, D103F channel. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Stay tuned, we're going to play our mission very soon. Alright, can't play our mission because uh, the last mission pack was uh, pretty much over. So, yeah. And, and the title mission is Quadruple Extermination to the Comeback, uh, which is an independent mission made by Viking EVM, I believe. So yeah, it's a uh, mission of the week. I don't remember which uh, number of the mission of the week, but uh, yeah, it was it was pinned on the the Dime website pretty much. So yeah, I downloaded it from there. Anyways, uh, I gonna select this mission and play this mission right now. Also, this mission has a like a, a sound pack that you need to download it like separately in order to enhance the experience. Action! All right, cool. Viking EVM, yeah, that's right. Somewhere in somewhere stand prison day. What does the stand stand for? Okay, boys, you know the drill. We go on hard, kick ass, fake name, and save the world. Reports indicate that these terrorists have high tech equipment, and what's worse, they have at least four nuclear warheads and prepared to strike. We don't know how. But we know that we won't do shit as long as we're breeding. Breeding. Badass team! It's time to roll. Roll where? Oh, this place. Alright. <laughs> Somewhere, Stan. <laughs> kind of ill at ears. Eliminate the rebels inside the uh, fortified village is it, is it to make it to make fun of uh, you know Central Asian nations because I know like some some of the countries that ends with a stand which is like Pakistan Kazakhstan and all that Yeah, I can hear the background music. 
I have no idea where it's dead for. I mean, where it came from. But it sounds like a old uh, Need for Speed sound music. If it's not that from that game, well, I mean from that series, probably like a a game uh, with uh, military settings, like Battlefield or Call of Duty. Yeah, I didn't really play the, those games. Not really a fan of those games either. Kinda love those those terrorists. They look like a uh, Vietnamese gang. I mean, if they don't, they don't have like uh, their specific uniform. They they're they're like wearing casually, but they look like uh, delinquents pretty much. There's not a lot of enemies left. Yeah, I should worry about ammo because I have lots of them. Really lots of them. Oh, there's one enemy that gets stuck in it. There we go. He's dead. I believe he's dead anyways. Why are you getting in my way, man? Alright, they're all dead. Now what? Boss, there's still there are a problem. We need to deactivate them. Destroy the command post by shooting those convenient placed barrels. Barrels? Oh, okay. That somehow managed to disable the turrets. What? The rebels are standing back up from above. They totally like, won't expect you hijacking the lift. Kill the rebellion reinforcements so you can attack them by using the elevator that kindly sent you. Break by guys. Alright. Sorry guys for the distraction. Oh, I have to go up there. It would be more car engine if I have a sniper rifle. But I guess I cannot have anything. All right, let's go up there. I mean, even with my assault rifle, I can go like shoot that far, or like yeah, there's some place that I cannot reach with the assault rifle, like right here. I mean, until like uh, I'm I'm here, I cannot shoot them like uh, you know on the, the ground level, you know. There you go. Alright, uh, oh, there's one enemy over here. There you go, he's dead. Be right back, guys. We'll stay behind and protect the elevator. That's an elevator. Stop stepping in the elevator. Alright. Gonna stick the right sniper rifle just in case uh, it might be useful later on. Oh, health packs. Don't really need it right now. I need armor, not health packs. Oh, you mean this elevator? Hey, how you doing? Wow. It's pretty in interesting that uh, you can like shoot the enemies while like uh, like the elevator is rising and all that. Make your way through the base. I'm not kidding. I mean, especially because uh, I don't know. To me, like uh, trying to kill the enemies while like uh, you're standing in one place is getting old. You know. 
I am. I kind of like like if like there's a sequence where like you can attack the enemies uh, while like uh, you know while you move your position. I mean, not by myself, but uh, you know, the game like uh, make your character move by itself. Which uh, we call like a uh, real shooting sequence and all that. That would be fun, man. Get rid of the last guards. What? Which guards? Oh shit, I don't, I don't have a lot of health, man. There's no health packs or armor or something like this. Yeah, there, there was a sniper rifle guy that uh, did a lot of damage to me. I don't have a lot of uh, sniper rifle, but I think I'm fine with this. I mean, the enemies are not doing anything. Of course, because of the, you know, the limitation of this game. Where they can attack you like uh, when they are beyond their like uh, view inside. All right, there you go. All right, they're all dead. Holy shit! What is this? A fortress? Flying Fortress. Step into the hover elevator. Wow. I haven't seen that uh, transportation before. Wow. Uh, the elevator go by up by itself. I mean, there's no like uh, support to raise the elevator. I mean, I was wondering, get rid of the guards. I was wondering how is it powered in order to raise the elevator with jets or something? Must be jets, man. Like it looks like a little bit like futuristic or something. Yeah, there was a shadow of, uh, you shall not pass, Asian dude. Yeah, you know, Asian is like a huge continent, man. Must be Vietnamese because those guys are Vietnamese gangs. But well, there's some tribes as well. Wow, okay. Get to the auto-destruction codes. I mean, the life bar coming from that uh, tribe member and then he died so quick. Oh wow, I haven't seen this, uh, this uh, object before, well vehicle, whatever what you call them. It's pretty unique, like that. Dr. Wankenstein, I should have known. You're too late, but this should build on my hovering technology. I will nick your cities and rule the world. You cannot stop me. Uh, how many cities do you need to rule the world? Well, unless I use those auto destruction code that I found lying on the floor. Oh shit! Come on, put down your weapons and fight like a man. Coming from a scientist, really? Beat up the shit of Doctor Wittgenstein. But you know, like uh, in games like uh, you know, franchise like Resident Evil, you have like doctors that are like uh, formidable uh, fighters and all that, which is pretty crazy. Insert our auto destruction code in the ship command center. Yeah, I'm talking about like Resident Evil Bandit Theft. Attention, auto destruction imminent. Evacuate immediately. Wow, 
that's very high in altitude. Quick, fool, grab a parachute. Where? Now jump before the thing explodes. Oh my god. Sir, you have enemy choppers coming, get in the vehicle and must leave as soon as possible. Where? Where's the helicopters? Where is it, man? I can't see the helicopters. Hey, I don't have any weapons. What the hell? It's not fair. I used to have like a uh, awesome rifles, and now it's gone. Get in a vehicle. Probably like, drop the weapons like uh, when he was uh, escaping the hover uh, thing. Move it, ladies! Oh, they're being called ladies. Wow. All right. Friendly troops took control of our base nearby. Your helicopter's there. Where? Oh, RX-69. All right, cool. Can I take the shortcut or something? You can see the helicopters. I don't have the, like a good view of the where I am right now. Well, I know where I am, but I mean, I cannot see the helicopters. All right, almost there. Open the gate, damn it! Oh, this is challenging. I cannot go inside unless there's a gate I can open. Son of a bitch. Yeah, the gate is closed, man. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? Oh, there's an entrance over here. Can I get inside? No. You know what? I'm just going on foot. I don't care. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, it's homing missiles. That's very dangerous. Your helicopters near the friendlies so they can shoot them down. Yeah, okay, I'm dead. Yo, those are homing missiles, man. What the hell is going on, man? I mean, like, there's a missile that can hit me down there. And you can see, like, the... Like, the small red triangle on the GPS map. So, yeah, it kind of tracked me, somehow. Which is pretty weird, because... I thought those helicopters are shooting, like, uh, straight, fast missiles. If for some reason, they have, like, homing missiles. Anyways, very bad, guys. Alright, I'm back. Better go move quick. Oh. Fuck, there's so many crap. Now, why am I taking so much damage, by the way? Come on, just get destroyed. Oh yeah, there was an explosion nearby. Come on. All right. All right, it's all gone. Outstanding job, badass team. Thanks to you, the world's safe. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Thank you for watching. See you next time, guys.